Yeah, you know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shake. So what up, basketball fans? You know who it is. Shakedown 2012. And it's time to kick some of those actual factuals with you about NBA Live 13. Now, judging from the title, you guys know what this topic is all about. You know, I got a lot of messages, all kinds of messages that came down the pike. Shakedown, that was an early build. <laughs> was the NBA Live 13 footage that was leaked actually an early build? Now, I find it hard to believe for a couple of reasons. And I might be wrong about these things. You guys can correct me in the comments. But from the footage that we saw, they had access to all the teams, they had menu sounds, full presentation, pregame intros, full commentary, ESPN transitions. I mean, it was a lot that that clip or that gameplay offered. And in my opinion, if I wanted to get the overall opinion of the masses, the people that are going to buy my game, the fans, I would release a, a clip. I would release gameplay, see what they say, and then take it down. So in some some sh way, shape, or form, that would be a good strategy. You know, there's a lot of rumors that they may just be releasing the game as a DLC, digital download, or something like that. And that would be a good strategy for that. Hey, do we want to release the full game? Or I know it's six weeks before we're expected to release the game, but let's just go ahead and release it as a DL DLC. And if the fan response isn't that good, why would you want to waste your time, waste your money? So, and, and also get bashed and probably never be able to do a basketball game again. So that would be a good strategy, I think, to release the game, release footage and give people a, a, an idea of what they're expected to see when the full game comes out. But there's some other things that lead me to believe that this might not have been such an early build. Back in May, three months ago, uh, EA Sports put out a video and they had Ricky Rubio and Kyrie Irving <laughs> uh, sitting down with the dev team and you know, hey, shout out to those guys. You know, I I, I want to respect, give a respect to anyone that's working on the games. I know it's a lot of work, especially when you're working with a product that hasn't received any love in a long time. But I remember Ricky Rubio saying something like, it looks like real NBA basketball instead of a video game. You know, implying that it looked like a real basketball broadcast instead of an actual video game. And, you know, Ricky Rubio, this is, this is three months ago, back in May. This is before E3. So, stay with me on the timeline here. I also remember Kyrie Irving saying something like, I like the ESPN tab, though. And it was kind of a, an awkward pause before he said that. I remember thinking that, like, why was he... Why was there an awkward pause before he said that line? I like the ESPN tab, though. No. <laughs> I'll leave that to speculation, but in my opinion, when you say though at the end of a sentence, it's almost like the sentence before that was, this game doesn't look very good. But I like the ESPN tab, though. <laughs> hey, I, I, that's all assumption. I'm, I'm not going to base it off of anything like that. I, I'm not here to bash the game. I'm actually standing in the NBA Live fans corner for this video right here. If you think about it, E3 took place in June. That video came out in May. And at E3, we saw a lot of people get excited about some live footage. and To some degree, people were expecting a lot more. But how is it possible that back in May, three months ago, Ricky Rubio saw to him what looked like real basketball. You know, and then E3 took place and they never showed a thing. So earlier this week, some NBA Live 13 footage leaks. 
and I'm supposed to believe that that footage came out before E3? That that, that footage came out at the time before May? I mean, how far back do we want to believe that this footage is coming from? If it came out around the time that Ricky Rubio said it looks like a real basketball game, I'm now very suspect of what Ricky Rubio, who plays actual NBA professional basketball, I'm skeptical on what he thinks NBA should look like in a video game. If this footage was before E3, how come they didn't show you know, all the fans that same clip or show them some form of gameplay at E3? The footage that people saw at E3, the little bit that they saw from what I hear wasn't very shocking, it was actually pretty bad. So. How early is this build? That's the real question. How early was the build that we saw from that leaked footage from NBA Live? Just about everybody that's watching this, this video here has seen the NBA Live 13 footage. So I, I challenge you guys that are telling me that it's an alpha build, that it's you know an early build, whatever you want to call it. How far back is it? Because if it came out in May, when rookie Ricky Rubio said it looks like real basketball before E3, which took place in June, <laughs> I, I find this very hard to believe. You know, some people wrote in the comments for my last video, oh man, some of you guys are fanboys. Listen, if I had a choice between a six bedroom mansion, million dollar home, and a two bedroom, 1,000 square foot, you know, house in the, in the middle of the hood. <laughs> the the value of the million dollar home is is what makes that house a better house. I'm not a fanboy of the million dollar home if I say that the million dollar home is better. Or if I say that the 1000 square foot house with no garage, you know, ducking bullets every day is a bad house. You know what I'm saying? If I say that's a bad house, or that's a place I wouldn't want to live in, that doesn't make me a fanboy of something else. I'm just stating the obvious. The footage that we saw for NBA Live 13 so far did not look very good. And here's the bottom line. The fans for NBA Live, it doesn't matter how far back they go. If they've been riding with Live all this time, sticking with it, yeah, you could call him a fanboy because, you know what, technically the definition behind that is somebody who sticks with a game even though it's not even that good. You know, even though the game is bad, you stick with it, you love it to death, to you it's an awesome game but it's really bottom tier. Regardless, you can call that, you know, some people call that being a fanboy. Either way, the fans deserve much better than that. NBA Live fans, if they like NBA Live, oh my god, they have to be the most diehard fans in the world when it comes to these games. They have to be the most diehard fans. They don't deserve to be disrespected with a bad game after three years. So it's your boy Shake. I hope that made some sense to you guys. I'll holler at you dudes later.